know, I think the best and safest thing to do is to worry about yourself and do the best you can for yourself. But here's what happens. So there's a, there's a concept in psychology called uh, behavioral disinhibition. So fancy I like it word. already. Yeah. So basically, if you see somebody else doing it, that opens up the possibility for you to do it too. So if you start to change and you start to, to do things in a different way, all of a sudden you're happier, you're more creative, you're more patient, your life is better. Hmm. Maybe I should try that too. Huh, so it's getting out of the, the proverbial rut then, even yeah. if it's just changing uh, how you dress or anything. S something as simple as most people put one shoe on before the other, like consistently. Like, you know, I put my right foot in first. So mm -hmm. if you just consciously decide to do it the other way, do your left foot first. Even that is kind of weird, but it will start to open things up. And the, the nice thing about this is it really does make you more open to any kind of change. Because what happens is, is when we go through change, it can feel like stress or it can mm -hmm. feel like guilt or what, especially when you start changing patterns around like relationships and family and stuff like that, right? If you're in, you know, got a dysfunctional way of relating to like a spouse or a parent or whatever it is, and you start to put up healthy boundaries, it can feel really wrong. But when you do this other stuff, all these other little mm -hmm. changes that are just different, they're, they don't really mean anything, you get used to that feeling of, oh, ooh, this feels a little weird. Huh. But you understand it's not anything. It's like it's just the feeling of change. And so when you do the bigger changes, you might get a little hit of guilt, but you'll understand, no, that's just really the feeling of change.